Lane here, Mountain Man Outdoors. We have Pokey's Tackle today. Today I am playing Camera Guy. Our uh, camera guy's a trooper. He is not feeling well and nice enough to lend us the camera gear. So I'm going to do my best. Bear with me. We are out today with the Regina Fire Department and their dive team. They are doing qualifications for their ice diving. We have just happened to set them up with a couple new hummingbird setups that they are going to be using for their search and rescue ef efforts, uh, including the new Mega Live and a Mega 360. Now I made them custom poles at Mountain Man Outdoors. Uh, so they are basically going to be all set up and hopefully we're going to be able to track some bodies, track some divers using their new electronics. We have Darren Bohannis with us today. We have the firefighters. We have Greg from Bokies. And we are all set up and ready to go with their new 360 setup, which is looking pretty freaking sweet. We got Mr. Darren Bahanas, the one and only. Yeah, we're gonna uh, we're just out here having fun, playing around with some new tech today, and showing the boys how all their new setups work. So, yeah, stay tuned. So, what are you fellas trying to do down there today? Uh, Running a little training exercise. Training. Yeah, uh, one new diver on ice diving and everyone else is just getting their reps in. Awesome. You guys have to do this every year? We do, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's how you stay certified? Yeah. Looks like all the equipment's no joke. No, not at all. Well, well, I wish you the best of luck, sir. Thank you. Good Thanks. luck with your dive. Yeah, I'm gonna come check out that stuff later, but. We, uh, we'll run you guys all through everything. We're just gonna dial it in ourselves. So awesome. pretty sure you can already see the car, so. We should see you guys as soon as you get down in the water. It's working really good. That's sweet. You bet. Setting up Mega360 is actually pretty straightforward. When you go to your menu settings, you can see the different menu options. It's really just a matter of balancing your sensitivity. You don't have to have your sensitivity too high. You'll notice when you crank it up, things start to get blown out, particularly closer to the middle. So you really just want to balance that sensitivity. Same thing with your contrast. Watch what happens when I have the contrast too high. You start losing some detail towards the edges. And of course, when you lower your contrast, you'll actually lose a little bit of detail. Uh, things just start to get washed out a little bit. So it's just a matter of balancing it out. Um, Setting your range, although you are capable of setting this to 150 feet, the average range that I'll typically set it to is about 80 to 100 feet. Usually I don't deviate beyond 100 feet because what happens is, is that you start losing a little bit of detail right, you know, relative to if you're on a sloping bottom um, and of course the depth that you're using, but you actually start compressing a lot of the detail that you see. So 100 feet, 80 feet is a good average. You'll notice that when I crank it up to 80 feet, things actually do get zoomed in a little bit there and then it's just a matter of selecting your preferred color palette there's a variety of different ones to choose from here number one two or four are kind of the ones that i like here what, what's what's your go-to color um, it all actually depends on the light conditions usually i'm using the blue color palette which is number one i also like number two if you want to see it a little bit brighter if you want something a little bit more subdued number four is good as well so cool. it's really just preference because of course everybody sees things a little bit differently so i see some objects on the bottom mm -hmm. Like in your professional opinion, mm -hmm. what do you think we're looking at down there? Well, you can definitely see a string of rocks right here. There's definitely some boulders and some other structures down here um, in the location that we're at because there are some submerged objects. These may very likely be some of the submerged blocks or objects that they have down here. Um, I believe, in fact, actually that right there might be the edge of a vehicle. Um, that's sunken. So if we actually do move over and drill a location a little bit closer to that, you'll actually be able to see that in a little bit greater detail. What I actually do like to do is I will take this zoom. So I want to fill the frame a little bit more here. So you can zoom it a couple times here, you know, even just the one time. So you're two times zoom. You can see here that the range is set to 80 feet. And then each ring, now you can get rid of these rings if you don't want them cluttering up the screen. Usually I'll know that of course halfway if you're at an 80 foot range is going to be 40 feet. So you can eyeball it that way. Um, but if you do want to have the range rings on, you can certainly enable that. So at an 80 foot range, each of these rings here is going to be 20 feet. But you can definitely see detail here on the bottom rocks rubble different things like that very cool yeah. this is actually my first time getting to look at the mega 360 the new one and wow <laughs> the other thing too that I will say is that you'll notice that at the bottom here where it says 360 speed 
Um, you generally don't want to have it too high, especially because we're in a very stationary position. Maybe if you're using it for open water and you just want to quickly find things, you can have the sweep speed faster, but you'll notice that it gets a little bit more blurry. So because we're in such a more controlled position here, you know, down an ice fishing hole, I'll actually set it to the slower speed. Sure. So as something refreshes, any little change in the bottom, especially if you do see fish and you can see the, you know, shadow beside them, you can actually see as they swim across the screen. So it's very pretty cool. amazing having that type of detail. The great thing about it is that as opposed to punching a bunch of holes and okay, maybe jig for 15 minutes or so and trying to find fish, is you don't really have to do that because instantaneously when you take Mega 360, when you drop it down the hole, there's either going to be fish there or not. If you don't see fish, then keep on looking. So as far as cutting down on the time for you to start scouting and looking for fish, this will literally save hours in a day where typically you're running and gunning and trying to find fish. It is a great technology. Amazing. Yep. Pretty crazy how you could be so close yet so far. Yeah, absolutely. So that could be all the difference right there. Thanks, Darren. Yeah. We'll drill another hole a little bit later, like closer to where that vehicle is, and you'll see that, watch when that vehicle goes in the frame, because I can set my range here. Right now it's at 80 feet. I can set it to, you know, 100 feet um, in mega imaging, which gives you better detail, but you start, you know, unless you adjust your contrast and stuff here, you start losing it a little bit of stuff further off this edge right there. But that's most likely the car right there. <laughs> but if well. we parked over top of it a little bit more, put it right around there, you'll actually see the, uh, you know, a little bit more detail. Yeah, just you're just right on the edge of it. Yeah. We went over that way a little bit more, we'd be, you'd see it. Boy, you'd oh yeah, see you'll see it clear as day. You can see we'll how punch, adjusting we'll your contrast, especially when you're in a more localized area, brings out the detail here. So we've got pretty good detail out to about 50, you know, let's say 60 feet at this particular depth. But usually what I'll do is I'll drop it to 80, even bring it in a bit more. Yep, yep, you can see it nicely there. And then when you slow it down again, you get more detail, but we'll just pump it up a little bit to refresh a little bit quicker. Because it's still gonna show you decent detail even when you crank it a couple notches. It just gets blurry the faster you go. But it's good to find things quicker. And the thing about being stationary like this is that nothing changes. So when you see something there and then you move in, like it just, It'll, this will always refresh and like these things won't move. It'll always be the same. They'll look the same too. So now Does all it of it. Yes, this is the heading sensor right here. So this right here, so the front of the pod, the way this is oriented is you have kind of that teardrop shape of the pod. That is the front of the pod. This arrow here is oriented. So when we're calling out a direction, so if you do see something down there and we want to call out, let's say over here. So like I said, you're basically at, uh, what is it? Uh, five o'clock, let's say, uh, 59.4 feet that way is where those targets are. So you can so actually, actually use, is like it, it is oriented. Yes, yeah, so this okay. is the GPS antenna right here, giving you precise. So the other thing that you can do is, let's say if you saw something right here, now wherever I move that cursor, if I hit mark right now, that's gonna mark a waypoint. It's gonna give you coordinates. It's actually gonna mark a waypoint on top of that. So if maybe conditions are kind of rough, you're having a hard time keeping your position. If you do see something that you've identified, what you can do is, and sorry if I'm using the wrong terminology and all for, you know, but if you do see something or a target down there that you've identified, um, you can actually put the cursor right over top of it. Where you hit mark, it's gonna create a waypoint on your screen and it's gonna give you the coordinates for what so you've located. So if you've seen a body or something that you were looking for, yeah. you could mark that on your GPS. So now you've actually dropped the, the waypoint, now you'll, you know, okay, so you we'll be, really good back yeah, you can, yeah, well, and then you could get right on top of it. Or for a vehicle or something effort, like right? that. Maybe you don't necessarily have the equipment, but it's like, yeah, that's for sure a car. Okay, drop a waypoint on it. Now you can literally, you got the waypoint, the blue dot on your screen, and you can literally go right back there and you can customize waypoints, do all sorts of stuff. But I mean, you can mark that waypoint you can get whatever equipment you need, go right back to that spot, and you're literally just parking over top of that waypoint. And or if you need to give somebody coordinates, another part of your team to give them coordinates to, you know, you can absolutely do that. It's no different than in our application marking efficient spot. There's a boulder patch there. I want to go back to that spot. So right. give your buddy the waypoint and he goes and catches all the fish on you. Somebody's down there. So we'll just, we'll get this filmed first and then I'll hit the mega. I'll show you guys the mega live here in a little bit. See, somebody's down there because you can see and there's a shadow. So somebody went down. Oh yeah, you can absolutely see that he's down there. Watch, you'll see that shadow change depending where he is in the water column. Yeah, there's a guy right there now. 
He's just kind of hanging out there. I don't know how deep he is, but I'm assuming he's pretty high, and that's why we're getting that long shadow. He might shadow. just be sitting at the top of the I hole I think they're right hanging now. off the top of the hole is what's happening, yeah. It almost looks like you can see a shadow of yeah. his legs or something. Yeah, kind of kicking around. You can see the disturbance of... If he goes down, like if he yeah. just... Darren, see him? Uh, I don't know. I saw the earth drive it there. There they are. Yeah, there he is. See the line, so they're showing towards the wreck right now. Yeah. Is that the bubbles going around? It's going. The bubbles going towards the. Yeah. You can see him. There you go. There you go. You guys there he is. See him on that one. Yep. There you go. There he is. Yeah. And you can see him right Pretty there. High up. You can see the bubbles. There's you two, there's two right divers, there. right? There they are. Yeah. There's two divers. Yeah, we just lost him on the other ones. So. Yeah. You can see his legs. You can see the bubble trail, eh? Yeah. You can see him high up. You can see the legs off of him here. Right I, did, I did slow the speed down, so the refresh rate's a little bit probably too slow, but uh, I mean, you can see the bubbles and stuff really nice and clear. You could actually see the track from when they, the direction they were going. So, anyway, there, there they're over, right, over they're top of it. They're over top of the car. There they are. There's the other guy. There's the see other guy. Fins. So you can see his fins. So right. you can see his body. No, on his back. Yeah. yeah. If he were, if he were close to the bottom, you, you. I mean, it's nice that you can see the shadow. So you can definitely tell he's higher in the water column. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So. That kind of concludes our exercise today. Do you guys feel like this will be kind of beneficial for you guys in your search and recovery efforts going forward? Oh, for sure it will. Yeah. Yes. Help use it to track your divers and try and locate people sitting on the bottom. Even have an idea where you're going before you even get in the water. Absolutely. Yeah. On top of that, be able to recover, find your vehicles, or as well as GPS mark your vehicles or GPS yeah. mark you know, a body or a location that you got yeah. to return to. Any points of interest, yeah. Well, thank you guys for having us out today. We really appreciate you having us at Pokey's Tackle along and hope you enjoy all your new toys. Yeah, we're looking forward to using it yeah. more. Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming out and showing us how to work it. Absolutely, yeah. our yeah. pleasure. Thank you. Thank, thank you, gentlemen. Cheers. Okay. Thanks, right guys. Thanks, guys.